Hello and welcome once again to Captain Goodspeed Maths and today we are discussing the OCR FSMQ new specification once again and in particular stationary points which completes our little uh, three lesson uh, sort of chapter on differentiation. So the learning objective today is to use differentiation to work out the stationary points of a curve. So let's get into it. Example 1. The graph of y equals x squared minus 10x plus 21 is shown. There are only a few places uh, mathematicians are interested in. So we've got uh, the y-intercept which is at 0, 21 and then we've got a couple of uh, x-intercepts there at 3 and 7 and there's also this point here. Uh, where it's really really interesting it's where the graph actually bottoms out and uh, you know if you think of uh, this curve being infinitely many straight lines there'll, there'll be a straight line that goes horizontally right there so that's what a straight a, a stationary point is and it has zero gradient it is a flat line so to find a stationary point, what we do is differentiate uh, our original equation. We set it equal to zero because, remember, when we differentiate, we uh, are finding the gradient finder, and we want a gradient of zero. So we set the gradient finder equal to zero and solve for x, and then we substitute back in for y, and we work out what that coordinate is. So let's do it for this question. So dy by dx is equal to 2x minus 10. That is the gradient finder. Uh, dy by dx is the gradient. We want that gradient to be 0, so we set it equal to 0. We solve for x, so take the 10 over the other side and divide by 2, so x is equal to 5. And then to work out what y is, we substitute back into the original equation up here. Uh, so we square 5, we take off 10 lots of 5 and add 21, and we get minus 4. So our stationary point is 5 minus 4. Example 2 then, the graph of y equals x squared plus 12x minus 28 is shown. Find the coordinate of the stationary point of this one. So what do we do? Well, we differentiate first. We want that point right there. We differentiate, so it's 2x plus 12. That is the gradient. We want our gradient to be 0, so we set it equal to 0, and then we solve for x. So we get x equals minus 6, and to get what y is, we stick it back into this equation. So we get y equals 36 minus 72 minus 28 is equal to minus 64. So that point there is minus 6 minus 50, 64, that should be. I beg your pardon. Um, let's just check that. So it's 36 minus uh, 28 and, and yeah that is 64 so that should be a 64 there sorry about that folks example 3 then a little bit more tricky this time so the graph of y equals x cubed plus 3x squared minus 45x plus 21 is shown find the coordinate of the stationary point so as you can see on this graph there are two stationary points which you know complicates things a little bit so we've got uh, a stationary point up here and we've got a stationary point down here because that is where the graph turns some sometimes stationary points are called turning points that's where the the, the curve turns so what do we know? Well, we know the gradient of those two points is 0, so we differentiate first. So we get 3x squared plus 6x minus 45, and then we set it equal to 0, because we want 0 gradient. We then solve that. Uh, I've divided both sides by 3. You can do that. Uh, the other side is equal to 0, so just divide 0 by 3 and, and get 0. So we get that which factorises lovelily to <laughs> x plus 5, x minus 3 is equal to 0. So our x coordinates are 3 and minus 5. So to find the respective y coordinates of those, you stick those uh, x coordinates back into our original equation for y. So we get uh, y is equal to 27 plus 27 minus 135 plus 21 when x equals 3 y equals minus 60, and when x equals minus 5, uh, y equals 196. So our two coordinates are 3 minus 60 and minus 5, 196. 
And that is that. That is where we're going to leave it. That is how you do stationary points. The same methods all the time. You've got two very common exam questions in there as well. Uh, working out uh, a single uh, stationary point and working out uh, two stationary points. So basically, if you get two answers for X, then there must be two stationary points. Uh, there always will be on a cubic curve uh, so so just remember that basically if you want to draw a quick sketch in the exam feel free um, but you, you know it, it makes sense logically and uh, yeah those are the, the methods you differentiate your set equal to zero you solve for x stick it back in for y easy peasy job is a good one. so that is where we're going to leave it for today if you found it helpful then make sure you leave a like down below if not then let me know down in the comments what you were stuck on and what i can do to improve in the future and ask any questions and i'll do my best to answer them thank you very much for watching today and very best of luck with your fsmq